wanted to give an update. Last night was my first time stealth camping. And actually, it was so interesting. So I was in North Carolina. I was in Durham. And, um, you know, I feel energy as well as... Um, so when I do these trips, I'm not just Lisa with my logical mind and checking the stats. I'm also intuitive. So you guys really develop your intuition. It really won't fail you. So I'm in Durham, which has an interesting energy. There was no kids there. Um, but there was a couple things that stuck out of my mind. First of all, Planet Fitness Membership. Excellent get it and honestly I didn't even work out but just for the hydro spa and the massage chairs those 20 minutes after driving all day were just pretty amazing and I felt so refreshed because I wanted to take a nap but I wanted to get to some activities so I didn't really have as much time as I thought I would because my first day and I realized I have to be a little more ginger than I thought um, but yeah that alone so that stuck out and I was going to look for a place in Durham and it really is like I'll just be really honest um, there's urban versus suburb honestly I, I was in Durham which is more urban and I was like let me just go out to the suburb found a suburb beautiful Walmart surrounded by trees which I think are the best I heard someone in van life say that and I have to agree very quiet other people were sleeping quietly I crept in quietly did what I need to do fell asleep so um, I must say that it is it's really good now the other thing that comes to Walmart I was so uppity because I don't truly shop at Walmart just because the food like you guys who buy food at Walmart if it's not packaged you really like it smells it smells like chemicals don't don't eat that I know some of you do stop it stop it it's not it's not okay I remember I gave my daughter some hard-boiled eggs from there and she smelled it and she was like no and she likes when I make them I smelled it I was like why is this just the like chemicals so because of that, I don't like Walmart, although I buy their electronics and stuff because you can get decent quality items at a good price. Don't mind my van, y'all. <laughs> if it doesn't look as pretty, I will fix that. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I had a thought, but like at the end of the day, I went there and it was clean, it was nice, and it was quiet, and there was no one doing silly stuff. And like it was 15 minutes outside of the city. And I'm like, you know what? Going 15 minutes or 25 minutes with supper for a nice, quiet night is worth it. That is my take at this point. So I'm heading down to Charleston, North Carolina. And uh, this is great because this is like a training period, like my first stealth to see what I need to do to like not only become better for myself, but for like helping other people who are doing this. And again, I'm like, I can stay in Charleston, but I can also stay in North Charleston. And so when you look at the iOverlander app, which is the app I was everyone recommends when you get into the urban cities or the city centers it's so much harder versus as soon as you go 15 minutes to a suburb so the answer guys is just do the suburbs don't try to be in the city they're cracking down uh, way too many like I got a knock I got this I got that so you know just make use of the suburbs so that's what we're doing today I actually my evaporative cooler which I was using broke so I actually uh, went to a Walmart in the suburb for pickup to get another Arctic cooler and I'm also going to buy one of the little pricier ones because they, they do actually work uh, maybe they say if it's super humid but I don't play same places that are really humid I just say in places that are slightly humid and they work just fine um, so last night I didn't have it because it broke but I did have um, so I did have um, Don't leave 
drive during the day. So I should be getting to my destination in two hours, which will make it around two o'clock. Um, and you know, so that's still some of the hottest part of the day. The hottest part of the day is like 1.30 to like 4.30, but um, not as much as like three to five, right? So um, that's the other thing, but so far so good. I'm also learning, drive that van gingerly. I had all these fancy things for water up here on my like, on like my, my little countertop. Did you know it works buying a gallon jug? And putting it on the step between the step and the door like and it's wedged there because I have stuff hanging from the door and it's it's heavier so it's wedged there and I was like all this fancy stuff I'm trying to get pumps and done and you can still use the pump on it but it's just like just get two gallons of water from the 7-eleven and wedge it between the door it's not that serious so I did all this stuff I didn't need to do um, so that's interesting but all in all I will tend and recommend all in all suburbs. You don't have to stay in the urban areas. And uh, they're cleaner, they're quieter, not as many people so they can keep things cleaner. And yeah, so that is all I got for today. Um, I'll put a link to everything I mentioned. The, the evaporative cooler I got was like a cheap one off Amazon. So I'm buying like a hundred dollar one from Walmart because I do believe in the technology. And I found one that said doesn't spit out water. It works great for how small it is. Okay. Thank you guys. Hope this helps. Um, oh yeah. And what did I do for my prepping? So I prep and so I had a can. So I brought all these, um, I've already used freeze dried foods already that I just took for my preps, which is good because it helps me rotate my preps. And I just took some canned foods and I stashed them. Um, so I have a, cause I'm low carb. So I have noodles, but I have shirataki noodles. Um, and they're, so it's, if you look it up, shirataki noodles or shirataki rice, it's like made from a cognac, which is like a plant in the ocean, but it looks and feels just like rice. So you do it with pasta, I'll put butter and salt. It tastes really good, right? So it's just a low carb option. And so they're in little packets of water because it, you know, it's like a seaweed, but it, it's, it fills and tastes just like carbs, um, just like uh, pasta and rice. And so I wedged that between the canned goods and we are all together. And so some of the things I'm realizing is I did a lot watching all these builds, but I just don't have the time to do all that fancy stuff. So I got like a gusher galley water pump to, to do the great water. And you know, so I'm a mix of like watching van life, but I also watch the minivan and the minivans are good because they're not as souped up, but they're still really functional. And so I just got a collapsible dish and instead of doing all the pumped water, I just got a spray bottle, wet my face, did it in like this thing. I didn't have it all plumbed. And then I just dumped that out. That was just so much easier. So I would just say like, watch the minivan stuff. And it's so funny because I'm in this van life and I feel so late because there's all these people who are like, I've been doing this for five years. But you know, it's just sort of funny. I was like, okay, I'm not super late. I'm definitely like a third waiver. I'm never a first waiver, right? And I also think it's so interesting why people do it. Some people are like straight up homeless. I don't have two money, two cents to rub together, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, I, I do personal finance for a living, so I know exactly what they need to do. But I'm not going to waste my breath saying it because when they want to do it, they'll do it. Um, which is start learning how to save, start learning how to... It's not even budgeting. It's like just learn how to get a specialized skills to make more so that you can, you can be a little bit more independent. But when they want to do it, they'll do it. Um, so it's just sort of interesting and I just say this as 10 years personal finance, right? So, um, which is your finances getting your finances to where you want to be. So we'll just let them have their own journey But uh, yeah, so I got my Dometic Alpi cool freezer. That's been working really good um, Solar panels are still working. So that's great. You know, I, I did bring a voltmeter and all my tools in case it stops to see if I need to fix anything but So far so good so um, someone asked a question in a group about like, how do you have a social life? And I just wanted to say what I do when I moved to an area in 2019 and I didn't know anybody and then everything shut down. I really, really advocate for social life, like getting your intentional community, right? Like I know one guy I met van lifing. I actually met him on Tinder and he was like, well, I stay in my Prius. And I was converting a van and I put that on my profile. So like, I don't know, it was really cool to just meet up with him. And he was doing disc golf all over. So he'd go someplace and he'd just go to a new disc golf and he'd meet people there and get tapped in. 
I call that an intentional community. Like, you're intentionally going to look for people in the disc golf community. And so every community is different, right? So I like, um, you know, I do karaoke. And so it's funny, I'll go and travel to a new place. And by the end of the night, I'll meet everyone there. I'll probably do some duets with people who hear me sing. And then generally what happens is we're karaoke hopping to the different and they're showing me all the best spots. And we're singing more because we love to sing, right? And I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty good singer. Um, so, um, you know, you know, the talent you have indicates how in you get with the group. Even if I was a bad singer, I think people would still like me and meet me and talk to me. But when you're, ta- whatever your talents are, if you do have talent, they like you more. It just is what it is. So find your talent. If it's sewing, find the sewing communities, right? Like, do you. <laughs> but find what you're good at. So, you know, you gel quicker in whatever community you go in. So if he's a disc golfer and he's really good, you know, like, you don't have to be good. I'm just saying I am particularly good at the community that is that I'm in. So it just helps. But I would also say, like, my community used to be couch surfing, but that's not as community oriented as it used to be. So that's unfortunate. All the 2010 OG couch surfers know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> I'm a 2010 couch surfer um, before I got bought and commercialized. And um, now it's not as community focused. So yeah. Um, but otherwise, it would have been that. Whenever I traveled, I would join. Hey, I'm going to like London. What's the local couch surfing community doing? Oh, they're having a meetup event. And so since I'm a couch surfer, they'd be open to meet me. Da, 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 da. So as a karaoke, it's not the same as couch surfing. It's not about travel. It's just, hey, you go there, and I go, and I, and this is how I do it. I do this very intentionally. Everything I do is intentional, but it just gets results. So I highly recommend it. Whenever I go anywhere, I'll go to Planet Fitness, I'll get dressed. I wear nice clothes, so I will wear my nicer outfits. Like, if you were going on a date, I wear stuff like you go on a date. Like, as my casual going out to karaoke. When you go somewhere by yourself, and you're dressed down, stress down and you're by yourself people still will meet you but it's not the same level of attraction when you go out and you're dressed nice now you don't even have to be pretty you just have to when you're dressed nice it's attractive and you're by yourself people just gravitate towards you and want to meet you because people like folks who are dressed nice so that's my little social tip um when you're dressed nice and you're by yourself it's literally a beacon saying come talk to me and people do and that's literally how i make all my friends And when I take people with me traveling, I don't meet people the same unless they're just as nicely dressed. And um, me and my crew, I'm pretty fun loving and we just have a good time. It does not matter who's around. We have fun. I only hang out with people who have fun with. I don't hang out with boring people. I just don't. So generally, even if I'm with the group, people want to meet us just because we're having such a good time that's attractive Um, or by myself. So if I go out with someone and they're not as like, just can't let go, probably don't go again with them (laughs) because it brings the whole energy down because I'd rather just go by myself and because I I have a certain result um yeah so that is my thing so that is another reason I like Planet Fitness because I went in there and I was just like spa and I took my time showering and I think they know that they're literally getting money just to provide showers because they keep the showers at least the ones I'm seeing really clean but I am staying in the suburbs so stay in the suburbs if you want the nice stuff okay um, yeah, so van life prepping between my solar panel and my wood stove, I am completely off grid. I have these small power banks. You get them for like $10, $20. And so if the solar panel, so say last night I needed this to go, but I've been using it, I can hook up these little battery banks that I've been charging all day with my solar panels. And then all through the night, if the battery was going to go down, I just plug it in and say, so between my solar panels, my dehydrated food, um, and being able to pick up what you need along the way. Like, if shit hit the fan, which I don't, it's not going to happen, but if it does, I can, I don't know why I'm so prepared. Like, I'm prepared, but I don't need to be. <laughs> but, but I am, because I don't, I don't know. We'll see what life gives. Because they're really trying to throw us for a loop. Um, you know, I have everything I need to survive. The other thing, um, just also, you know, use your higher power intuition. I am not religious. But um, I am deeply tapped into my higher self. I can request of my higher self. So I'm just going to tell you guys something. It might be hard for you to realize this. This is a matrix. Everything's a program. 
And the more you go into your spirituality, either through religion or through outside of it, the more you can program the matrix. So I'm not scared because I can program safety. I can program a nice drive. I can program um, traffic stuck, getting out of traffic faster. Because once you realize that access, you have the ability to do that. So this is going to be a little far above you. You guys literally, most of you guys just literally cannot compute that you have that level of ownership and power. Because the powers that be really worked hard to make sure that you think you have no power when you have so much. Imagine that. That with the power of your mind, the thing that can make you heal yourself just by thoughts. Can actually protect yourself. Make sure there's no traffic. Make sure your ride's good. So, and I also have to ask for a lot of protection because I give out information like this. There's dark entities that, dark energies, demonic energies that just are like, we're not going to have her tell her all the secrets. So, I have to do a lot of protection. So, I protect myself every day too. But, um, yeah. So, doing this when you have that access. And it's funny because there's a lot more black female band lifers. And consistently they're like, you know, the energy you are is the energy you attract. So, I was fine. Or the other ones are like, who have that understanding are like, I was protected. I just covered myself. Asked God for protection. I was cool for the whole year. It's very interesting as there's more black women coming out and speaking and we speak about our spirituality because it's a big part of our lives. It's consistent what we say. It's so consistent that like this doesn't have to be this big scary thing, but I have a relationship with the higher world and the higher world can program this world and set protections and look out for you and know what's coming. So I don't know. It's just my van life experience is not going to be the same as yours. It just isn't if you don't have that higher power so some of you guys are religious so you can do it through god and angels and guardian angels and invoking their protection i just know religion says like it's only jesus and i was like that's good i love jesus but just understand he's very busy okay <laughs> he's there for you but he's very busy okay so to keep that in mind um that's why i like the spirituality aspect because then you're open up to other different um guardian angels for protection and so what it is, because of free will, you just have to invoke it and just go, you know, guardian angels protect me, higher self protect me, God protect me on this journey. That's it. It's super easy. But you guys, but if you don't have a relationship, what I'm talking is gibberish. If you do have a relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is for those with the eyes to hear and the, and the, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So, and that's it. Enjoy.